Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Locum23. You're joining me for Choice of the Stories You Play, Crown on the Flame, Book 3, Chapter 5, The Uneasy Alliance. Now, playing as Kenna, you, Val, and Jackson step down into the dungeon beneath Lycos, preparing to release Luther Navrakis from his prison cell. I don't know if I have the strength to set Luther free. Strength? I'm not sure I have the stomach. Well, he better not try anything, or I'll have his head. You can't help remember the last time you came down here. Leon, by your side. You shake off the memory, and say, I'm glad you're here, Jackson. Leon would be proud to see you protecting me so fiercely. Jackson bows his head. That means everything coming from you, my queen. I hate to ruin the moment, but... She's right. We have to focus. Kenna, are you sure we have to release Luther? Because I could also, you know, accidentally stab him a couple times. Tempting as that is, we need him and what's left of his army. Azura will be crossing the sea with everything she has. And we've seen firsthand what she can do. As much as I hate to admit it, Luther was right. We have to work together in order to defeat Azura. And just how do we work together? Well, I was thinking we could start with a formal dinner. Ugh. My stabbing ideas sounding better and better. You, you would break bread with the Blood King? As much as it sickens me, yes. I'll do anything to protect our people from Azura. Now follow me while I still have the courage to do what must be done. The three of you approach Luther, who sits on a cot in his cell. He takes note of Jackson and smiles smugly at you. I did warn you, girl, but you wanted to wear a fancy crown and play at being queen. Let me guess. You visited Azura and Leon paid the price. Your pride killed him, didn't it? I didn't kill him. And furthermore, Leon died courageously. He fought as my champion and died a hero's death. A hero's death? Is that how you take comfort at night? Knowing full well had you listened to me, he'd still be alive. You don't know what you're talking about. Tell me, whatever happened to that archer girl? The one... Out of Thorngate. Whatever. I heard she nearly betrayed you. Your daughter tried to corrupt Rowan, but she remained loyal. Only because you permitted her every leniency imaginable. Some queen? This queen mopped the floor with you, Luther. It's all right, Val. He's just trying to rile us up. What is it you're here for, anyway? I hope you're not foolish enough to consider killing me again. You're lucky she hasn't yet. If I were queen, you'd be dead already. If you were queen? Let us all be grateful that nightmare will never come to pass. You take a deep breath, finding the strength to summon the words you never thought you'd say. I am here f I am here to formally request an alliance with the Nevrekis family to join our forces against Azura. Well, well, well. You finally come to your senses. And what do my family and I gain from helping you? You gain a lesser sentence, your freedom. I'll give you your lives back. You would do that? 
After everything we've done to you? I promise. I don't believe you. How do I know you mean what you say? You nod to Jackson, and he unlocks the door to Luther's cell. We can't trust each other. Not yet. Maybe not ever, but we can at least offer an olive branch. The Queen's inviting you and your advisors to dinner. You should be grateful. I'll give you and Zinabaya some time to clean up. And does this unexpected invitation extend to my son, Diavolus, as well? Diavolus? He's here? Yes, although he's most likely locked up amongst the rest of my riffraff per his ridiculous beliefs on equality. Then my men will find him and make sure he gets invited too. This should be interesting, to say the least. We'll see you at dinner, Queen Kenna. Shortly after a meeting with Luther, you're in the room with Val and Ailes, looking for an outfit. This event is impossible to dress for. What? You don't have an outfit for dining with a nest full of hell's-born snakes? I seem to be missing that one, too. I don't know how either of you ever dress yourselves. Is it really so important for you to look good for them? It's not just about looking good, Val. It's about sending a message. And it needs to be right message. You need something that says you're committed to the Alliance, but let me see. Elise opens one of her trunks, brings out a sleek black and silver gown made of glittering brocade. How you find this. It's perfect. It's... It's in the Navragas colors. Exactly. Wearing their colors sends a message of peace. The fact that you'll look even more intimidating than usual is just a bonus. We do want to get off the right foot with them. Hells, if it's that important, then I guess if you dress up, I will too. Seriously? I mean, I need to hear that again. You heard me. What do you think, Kenna? Will you wear it? Please tell me you'll wear it. Oh, that is gorgeous. We kind of knew the diamond option was coming. Oh, well. Um, but no, that is a gorgeous... That is a gorgeous outfit. Oh, oh. Pixelberry knows my weakness. I love black. Um... But I digress. We have to save our diamonds for the diamond versions. I think I'll just stick with my normal clothes. Aww, but... Thank the gods. Let's go before Kenna changes her mind. You, Val, and Annalise, and Whitlock arrive in the Lycos Ballroom for the dinner party. Raiden, meet you at the doorway. Best of luck, my queen. You're... Not staying? My sister has called a meeting of the Black Asps. Many of her agents just returned from a missions abroad. Uh, they will have news for us. I hope at least some of the news is good. Raiden nods, taking his leave. You make your way along a row of guards towards an elegant dining table set for eight. Mother, forgive me. It's a lovely arrangement, Kenna. Uh, too bad it's being wasted on our, uh, guests. I'd rather eat with a pack of wolves than Luther and Navrakis. I imagine they'd be more tolerant of your table manners, Val. They'd also be more tolerant of me jumping over this table and punching you repeatedly with your own fists. Okay, okay. Point taken. I retract my statement. Good. Uh, Kenna, are you sure this is wise? After all, these are our enemies. They've done unspeakable things. Listen to me, all of you, before our guests arrive. 
This dinner may feel like the last thing you'd ever want to do, but it must go smoothly. If, we def if we're to defeat Azura together, then we need to set the tone for our alliance tonight. We must remain civil, so they can see us at our best, even though they're the worst. A fine sentiment! I knew that was going to happen, that's why I didn't pick the other option. You turn to see Luther, entering with Zeno on her arm. <coughs> uh, welcome, allies. As Luther and Zeno take their seats, another door in the ballroom swings open to reveal... Kai's back? Hey! Special delivery for Queen Kenna! Kai strides into the ballroom, towing Florian Tart Assis by the scruff of the neck. Watch out! He looks like he bites! Florian, how good of you to join us! I hope your journey here was pleasant. Oh, this guy! Oh, okay. <clears throat> I haven't done his voice in a while. This brute stormed my castle with a battalion of Stormlord soldiers, made me ride back to Lycos in a crate. That's the best thing I've heard all day. Akai, will you be staying for dinner? Afraid I can't, Kenna. Didn't you hear? The folks in Panrion made me the regent. I can't think of anyone better suited for the job. Thanks. Anyway, I gotta head back. The town council will just squawk at each other like old seagulls if i not there to keep them in line. You play nice, Florin, or I'll come and put you back in that crate. I really says Florian, giving him a hearty slap on the back for exiting the ballroom. Well, it sounds like the Panrion is in good hands. I'll have you know that since I was deposed, ship production has fallen over 20%. Oh, and how many commoner riots have there been since you left? Is it zero? I heard it was zero. You're going to lecture me about keeping the people happy? What are you implying? Excuse me, please. Akina, they're not used to behaving. Florian has joined your alliance. Oh. I don't blame him. It's an unusual event. They can't help who they are. Earlier, Val was remarking on how difficult it is to dress for such an occasion. Is that right? Let's talk about your attire, shall we? Let's not. Let's not before I come over there and smack the shit out of you. Tell me, am I supposed to take this alliance seriously when none of you can be bothered to dress for the occasion? Honestly, who wears armor to the dinner table? Anyone who wants to live through a dinner party with you? You say that like I couldn't just poison you. Hold your tongue, daughter. Some of us would like to see this alliance succeed. Luther not the lone empty chair. Difficulty is finding Devilos. My men are looking for him in the dungeon now. How dreadfully disorganized! I don't believe this brat for a second, father. And they're probably torturing Devios right now. Zeno picks up a knife next to her plate and points it at you. The guards rush forward, but you stop them with a glance. You bring my brother out here, right now, or... I should let her threaten me. Mm. <clears throat> no, we're trying... I feel like we should let them feel like they have power. Words are just words. You hold your tongue. I'll cut out your heart and feed it to my dog. Then I'll make sure all of your little friends fight to the death in the fighting pit for all my friends to watch. Your grievance has been heard. I understand diplomacy, but even I can see my daughters out of line. 
Father, not in front of... Zeno, Alistrian of Rakus, do not make me raise my voice again. Zeno shrinks in her seat, sadly, picking at her plate. Thank you, Luther. And I assure you, Zeno, he'll be here in one piece. Zeno nods. A long, unbearable silence falls over the table. I... I, I love your crowns, Zeno. Uh, thank you. Aren't these saff sapphires exquisite? I bought the entire mine last year, so I'd be the only one who could wear them. Uh, this wouldn't be the sapphire mine, just south of here. Would it? Near the Snake River? It is! You know it? Everyone knows it. The villagers in that area call it the Pit of Death. The workers' mortality rate is above average for a mine of that size, but the quality of the stones produced more than makes up for that. Hold up, Spectacles. You're telling me it's alright for people to suffer and die so long as Zeno gets her pretty rocks? Well, they are pretty, aren't they? You're an idiot. Val grits her teeth, her hands clenched into fists. I should change the subject. Speaking of pretty things, you know, have you ever been to the gardens of Aurelia? Hmm, no. Like you have? Uh, that's actually where I rule. Kenna and I met when she came to make an alliance. The gardens there are extraordinary. They cultivate dozens of rare plant species that... Wait, you've all seen Aurelia? We have. My god, so I'm so jealous! Is the city made of gold? Is there really a ball every day? I heard... As Zeno rambles on, Luther leans towards you. That was definitely handled. You're a knack for diplomacy, Kenna. A moment later, Jackson enters the ballroom, escorting a broad-shouldered man with a confident smile. You didn't start without me, did you? You must be... Divos. Welcome to the table. Thank you. I'm looking forward to some food that wasn't crammed between the bars of a cell. Now that everyone's here, let's disperse with the small talk and the idle nonsense. We're trying to win a war. Fine by me. But winning shouldn't be too hard. Oh, and you, who suddenly made you the commander of the armies? Are you forgetting that we no longer hold titles? That's what happens when you lose. Perhaps you're forgetting the title I perpetually hold over you, son. But you want to lead? By all means, share your brilliant strategy. Had to cough. <clears throat> we just have to hold Lycos. With Kenna's superior navy and salvageer ships, we'll be unstoppable. Especially with our soldiers here, where they're comfortable. That would be tactical suicide, and I'm not the only one who thinks so, Queen Kenna. Okay, so. So you're going to take... Well, shit. Lycos is on the sea. <sighs> it's the city that's right where we... It's our staging point. It's our staging grounds. It's where we are currently. Um... <sighs> shit. Because I'm taking into fact what just happened with Hex, Dom, and Aurelia. That no one apparently knows about yet. It's... I'm gonna go with it. it's a good idea. I'm afraid it won't work. It's a tactic we have gave ample consideration, but will be crushed if we try to make our stand here. Hmm. 
Because our armies are both still recovering. We have the right position, but we are not strong enough to hold it. Yes, actually. You seem surprised. I'm just not used to agreeing with a black-hearted Navrakis. Uh, something like that. What do you propose, then? A tactical retreat would gather support as we move our armies back to the most defensible position there is. Stormhold. We need all the help we can get. The Phytorians to our north have no idea what's coming. I'll go warn them at first light tomorrow. <coughs> A waste of time. They'll make for strong allies. Phytorians, what good are those? Know-it-all dandies in battle. You'd be surprised how helpful allies can be when you let them live. Touché. Servants bring out several dishes as another long silence stretches throughout the ballroom. <laughs> this goose reminds me of that party with the Amanth family, eh, sister? Uh, what party? Come on, don't you remember the Fidorian prince, the one we were all flumoxed by? Do you mean Tevin? Zeno was flumoxed by Tevin? No, I wasn't flumoxed by anyone! I caught her before the party, practicing a speech to him in her mirror. Fascinating. Please go on. I'd love to tell the story, if you're interested. Divos, I will pull your teeth out with pliers and wear them as a... Don't speak that way to your brother, Zeno. Half-brother. This all seems like a tremendous waste of time. I'm inclined to agree with Florian. Then again, it seems unlikely we'll make any more actual progress today. One explorer, this side story first hand, now's your chance! Plus, you'll help smooth the tension between Kenna and her old enemies. Heard the tale? There are other matters to discuss. Sure, uh, who wants to hear a juicy story about Zeno's romantic blunders, anyway? No one. Now sit down before I end you. Well, I think it's time to make this alliance official. Agreed. You stand, glass in hand, to new, unexpected allies. You raise your glass, and your friends and former foes do the same. The mood seems almost jovial. You sit back and ball, leans in close, whispering. Somehow you've done the impossible and made this work, Kenna. Your dinner with the Narakas went well. Let's just hope it's not our own doing. As you down your glass, Sai, Adder, and Raiden burst into the ballroom. You must come now. You excuse yourself and follow them to the stairwell. Annalise, Willock, and Vol follow. <coughs> what is it? What's happened? Aurelia, it's been attacked. No! I'm afraid it's true, and that's not all of it. Hex is there. The city was attacked by a dragon. Dom. Hex must have him under her mind control. We're going. Now. Obviously, but what about our plan to go to Fridoria? Well, I have to split up. I'll go to Aurelia with Sai and Elise. And me. Hex and I have unfinished business. Uh, Val, you, and Raiden will head to Fidoria and prepare for Zara's arrival. Hopefully, we'll be able to meet before meet you before she shows up. Of course, all those Fidorians whipped into fighting shape before they can say, "Oh God, please stop hitting me!" <laughs> God, uh, are you sure this is best, Barry? Val has threatened to kill me on a number of occasions. That just means I like you. Now come on, fancy man. 
I can't help but notice that my name wasn't included in either party. I still don't trust me to help. <clears throat> Anner, I trust you. As far as I could throw you. As far as I could throw you. Excuse me? Perhaps she did not mean it as an insult. You're a small woman. I could throw you considerable distance. Look, the truth is I'm still not completely sure about you. But you're the best person to watch over our new allies. You've run the Lycos Underground for years. You probably know Luther and his lackeys better than they know themselves. I say that's accurate. And if they get out of line... Say no more. Other bodies will never be found. Uh, uh, let's leave that as a last resort. In the meantime, can you maintain order? Your faith is not misplaced. Good. Now the rest of you, come on. There's no time to waste. <clears throat> as you're preparing to board your airship, Devlos catches you up on the deck. Couldn't help but overhear earlier. Father respectfully requests that a representative of the Naragas family be included in this important mission. Somehow I doubt that he requested this with that much respect. There may have been some cussing. Out of the question, I can't afford the risk to this mission just because it hurts your father's feelings. You can't afford to risk leaving us out of it. We'll fight alongside you, but only if you treat us like allies instead of dogs. What is it you propose I do? It's less a proposal and more a fact. I'm coming with you. Huh. Chapter progress. You did what needed to be done and released Luther and his army from prison. You promised him a freedom, and you should manage to defeat Azura. Your grace under pressure transformed an awkward dinner into a social victory. So Luther has been recruited... And Zeno's been recruited, Florian's recruited, and Davos isn't on there, so that's very interesting. Uh, Legend, 19 out of 25, weapons 0 out of 5, allies 5 out of 30, because we didn't get, get Clover and we didn't get the old chick, because Pixelberry... <laughs> Army score, 49 out of 110. Unfortunately, that's what happens when you don't spin diamonds. Sad face! But like I said, those are going to Diamond Edition stories right now. <sighs> Without further ado, hope you all did enjoy the video. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want to contact me at all or follow me on social media, down in the description below is some links for that. Several of them, in fact, if you are more partial to one. And then also if you'd like to support my channel and all and the content that you hopefully are enjoying, there are two links as well for that as well. And until next time... Stay well, stay awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.